Hey guys, The Gamer Untamed. Today I'm just going to do a quick-ish sort of video where I talk about the winners from the Spike Video Game Awards 2012. I was actually fortunate, fortunate enough to be able to um, be a part of the uh, video, uh, hmm, Gamer MD83's live stream chat of the VGAs and she was also talking in the video and we were all talking about what was happening and stuff so that was pretty fun and I saw a lot of you you guys on it so that was the most fun. I'm in my kitchen right now with my iPod with my iPad to tell me um the winners. So let's go start from the um uh, let's go back here. Let's start with um Game of the Year, and that was The Walking Dead. Well deserved, well deserved. It's The Walking Dead. I mean, I of course wanted Mass Effect 3 to win, but you understand, I really do. Studio of the Year was Telltale Games. I voted, I didn't get that right. <laughs> Let's see what I got right. Best Xbox game, Halo 4. I didn't get that right, I don't believe. Um, best PS3 game, I didn't get that right, it was Journey, and the other one was Halo 4, if I didn't say it. <laughs> My cat's around here somewhere. Can't see him though. Bugger, I'm sorry if I keep moving the camera, I'm trying to get it into a good spot. Because I suck at holding a camera. Um, best Wii, Wii U game was Super Mario Bros. New Super Mario Bros. I got that right. Yay! Um, best PC game was XCOM Enemy Unknown. I said Guild Wars. Two. I don't know. Um, okay, let's just... It's dark at this end, but... Uh, too bad. It's easy to hold and easy for me to what? look at the screen here. Best shooter was Borderlands 2. Um, best action adventure game was Dishonored. I can't remember what I voted for. Best RPG was Mass Effect 3. And I was so glad they actually won something because that was the only thing they won. So I was, I was glad that they were able to win at least one thing. I'm sorry if you can't really see me. Okay. Super excited. Okay. Best multiplayer game was... Borderlands 2, surprisingly. I would have thought it would have been um, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 or... I can't remember what the other one was. Um, best individual sports game, I got it right, it was SX, SSX. <sighs> um, best team sports game was, I believe, hold on. Being a bit slow, stupid iPad is being slow. By the way, guys, I would actually really love some suggestions for next videos that I could do, please. Um, was, it was NBA 2K13. My friends play that, and I, I really understand why. I did not vote for it, though. I thought maybe not. Um, best driving game was... Oh, damn, I had it in my head, then I knew it. Oh god, I forgot. Need for Speed Most Wanted. That's the one. Um, best song in a game was for Journey. And the so no, it was for Sound Shapes. And it was Cities by Beck. I didn't get the right. To be honest, I didn't know any of them. <laughs> uh, up to Best Original Score was um, Journey. I said Halo 4 specifically because they started the whole theme music and stuff and I thought maybe I haven't really heard any more Halo music and I haven't played Journey either. But best graphics was Halo 4. Ah, said the wrong one. Um Best Fighting Game was Persona for Arena. I was surprised it wasn't Dead or Alive 5 because, you know, Dead or Alive 5 is like Dead or Alive 5. And there have been so many of them. Oh my god, what is this? 
press. I'm trying to get best independent game up. Oh, Journey. I should have known that one. I voted for Journey. Ah, no. There was actually one category that I was actually really disappointed about, and I'll explain which one that was later. Um, best handheld mobile game was Sound Shapes. I think I voted for a little, I don't really know. Um, best performance by a human female. This I was actually kind of pissed off. I voted for Jennifer Hale's Com Commander Shepard. And I really wanted Jennifer Hale to win so badly. I mean, she's a great, great voice actor. Not just for Shepard, but for any of her voices. And Melissa Hutchinson as Clementine won from The Walking Dead. I was so disappointed. I mean, come on. She's already won already. I mean, jeez. The Walking Dead won so much. I was so disappointed. Oh, I... Even um, GamerMD83 also thought that um, she should have, um, Jennifer Hale should have won, and I was so disappointed about that, but you can't really do much about it. Um, best performance by a human male was, oh geez, I had it in my head again. It was from Borderlands 2, and it was um, Damien Clark as Handsome Jack. I voted for that, I knew it, I just knew it. Best adapted video game was The Walking Dead, the game. Obviously from the show The Walking Dead is it was adapted from. Best DLC was Dawn Guard, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Best downloadable game was The Walking Dead, the game. And best social game was You Don't Know Jack. Never heard of it. There were also the other ones, which was most anticipated game of the most anticipated game, and that was Grand Theft Auto V. I was so torn between that one because I was like torn between that one and Last of Us. I can't remember which one I voted for. I think I actually voted for both. I can't remember. But for Character of the Year, I was so disappointed. Guess who it was? I will tell you who it was. Oh, Claptrap. From Borderlands 2. Claptrap, yeah, he's kind of funny and he's like cute, whatever. He beat Commander, Commander Shepard, Master Chief, and Master Chief. Two characters who I, would have been ha who I would have been so happy to have won. I mean, God! Like, come on! Also, there was... Oh, it's really hot in here. It, there was also... Um, a new category and that was game of the decade and I was looking up online because we all want to know where the um, nominees were and I found them and I told the rest of the, everyone else and the nominees were pretty good I mean there was like Half-Life 2, Red Dead Redemption, Mass Effect 2 um, Portal, Portal yeah, Bioshock and there were heaps of other ones and including Wii Sports we freaking sports? Are you insane? People who did these nominations. Like, why would... Yeah, okay. Wii Sports was like a revelation for the Wii. But it's not worth Game of the Decade. No freaking way. But I was happy. Because Half-Life 2 took home that. And I was so happy for them. That was a um, great achievement. And yeah, that's pretty much it actually. I was actually kind of pissed off at the VJs a little because they had people like Jessica Alba come on the show and that was absolutely retarded. I don't know why they had her on there. She was just like, oh, yeah, here's the world premiere for this game. Ha 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 ha. I bet she hasn't even played a game in her life. Um, also, there, were heaps, there, were, there weren't many world premieres actually. There were, I think... Maybe three. There was Dark Souls 2, The Last of Us, Tomb Raider, um, The Phantom Pain, Bioshock Infinite, and Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. 
I was, me, everyone on the chat that we were on was kicking ourselves over Dark Souls 2 because we thought it could have been Dragon Age 3. We really thought, oh my god, is that Dragon Age? Oh my god, is that Dragon Age? Dragon Age, Dragon Age, Dragon Age. And then it was Dark Souls 2 and I'm like, oh, <laughs> whoops. But um, yeah, it looked so good. I was in heaven when I was watching that. Also, Tomb Raider World Premiere wasn't that bad. I thought that it was pretty good. I thought I could actually play that game. I mean, it looked it looked much better than any of the other Tomb Raider games that were that are ever out. So yeah, I was pretty interested in that. Wasn't interested in Last of Us, and wasn't really interested in Castlevania. So yeah. Wait, did I say Last of Us? I mean Bioshock. Wasn't really interested in Bioshock or Castlevania. So, yeah, that's my little short, not even short now, it's 11 minutes, chat about the VGAs. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And please leave me a message or a comment below to tell me what kind of videos you would like me to do. Because I'm actually running out a little. Just a little. So, yeah, that would be awesome. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.